guys, welcome to Watkins Way. Today I'm really excited about this show. This is a second in a series of three countries. I got my friend Scott with me today. Happy to be here again. And last week we were in Taiwan. What did we make in Taiwan? Three cup of chicken. We made three cup chicken and trust me, we ate all of it. It was really good. Today we're gonna make, what are we gonna make today? We're in France. Today. We're in France, we're and, in France. And, and, the, and the snobby way maybe chicken Francaise, but it's lemon chicken. It's lemon chicken. It's so lemon chicken. If, forget, if I'm from Kentucky, it's lemon chicken, and <laughs> I think that's fancy. So anyway, Scott, what's the okay, ingredients? So what are we going to do? Like the three cup chicken, we tried to do something that pretty much was in and out in 30 minutes. Okay. Prep, cook, serve 30 minutes All or right. under. This is probably very similar. It can actually be less. What we started with though, mm -hmm. off camera, is we simply browned some slices of lemon. Okay, yeah, that looks real good. Oil. Okay. And it doesn't part a flavor. You want to kind of get them nice and brown because you're going to eat these whole. Oh, you are? On top of the dish. Okay. If you choose to. So the ingredients for lemon chicken, pretty simple. We have our chicken. These are breasts cut horizontally. Mm -hmm. And because you gave me a nice heavy uh, rolling pin. Rolling pin, yeah. To I, I kind of made them all the same thickness. Okay, great. And we're simply going to dredge them in some flour that we're going to put some kosher salt in. Okay, so it's got to be kosher salt? It's it, it doesn't have to be sea salt will work, but not table salt. Okay, not, tab not table salt. Yeah. Okay, all right. So we are going to put, you know, to your to your own taste, but right. almost, almost always whatever you put in uh, is indistinguishable. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of salt and pepper in here. Okay. And we're going to dredge that all these together. salt and peppered chicken okay. uh, breasts. Excuse me. We're going to. And then you put we're going to then put those in our flour batter first. So we're going to do that on both sides. Okay. And we've lightly salted, or mediumly salted, right. and peppered these little pepper. These, these okay. pounded out chicken thigh, uh, chicken breast. Chicken breast. Yeah. Chicken breast. We did chicken thighs earlier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, in most week. recipes, you do things a little different than this. Mm -hmm. We we are going to put these in the flour. Oh, okay. I do. I do two at a time, make a big mess, that's always good. And like any flouring, right. just kind of smush them in there, but make sure you shake off as much as possible. Okay. Then and into the into egg. Into the egg. And we're gonna okay. just let these drip off. Now, because we are cooking with a 10 inch skillet today, right. pretty common, everybody has one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do two of these at a time. Okay. As where, if you do have a 12 or a 14 inch, then you can do, you do all, all four. All four. At the now same the nice time. thing is because once we're done with these, right, they can go into a 200 degree oven and hold, mm -hmm. because you're going to make the sauce, oh, and okay. then you reheat the chicken in the sauce, oh, so okay. you don't have to worry about doing them in, in sections. And the chicken is, is will continue cooking too when well, it's in the oven. Well, if it's at 200, hopefully it'll just keep it warm. Keep it warm, okay. So we've put these in flour, mm -hmm. dumped into the eggs. Put them in the egg. And then in a preheated skillet, okay. you want to add, oh, I'm going to say... Three or four tablespoons. Uh, maybe, maybe two to three. Two to three. Because it's not going to be a deep fry. Right. But it does want to brown up. And just any olive oil will yeah. be okay? Yeah. I mean, extra virgin always. Right, right. Um, or, yeah. I, or I should say virgin. It doesn't need to be extra virgin. Okay. And we're going to just raise the heat a little bit on these. And we are browning these. Oh, wow. That looks great. That looks pretty good. Yep. Now, because we're doing this in two parts, we're uh -huh. doing two at a time. Right. When these brown, we're going to put them on to just a holding dish. Okay. And we'll do the second two. Okay. And this is something you could do really 
uh, half hour before your guests come. Oh yeah. Put them in an oven at 175, 200 Just mass. keep them warm. Keep them warm, have a glass of wine. Yeah. And then you're gonna finish with the sauce and that's it. Oh, okay, sounds good. All right, Scott, that really looks good. So what's next? What are we gonna do? Okay, so we, we browned the chicken. Uh-huh. And we have pre-cooked some of these little right, lemon we slices. we pre-cooked the lemons, so yeah. It's not only for decoration, but right. because they have been browned, you you can eat the entire rind. It's very sweet. Oh, and okay. Of course, it imparts even more of that yummy uh -huh. lemon flavor that this dish will have. Uh huh. So now we're going to make the sauce, which sauce is always a scary word. But I know. It's, it's absolutely <laughs> nothing. So we're going to. I'll call it a knob of okay. butter. It's probably two pats. Okay. Cut those in half. Yeah. And see how fast they brown up here. So pretty much, uh, you know, if you're half a stick of butter, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. I mean, well, not quite a half a stick of butter. And I'm putting in a little olive oil just okay. so the butter doesn't burn. Right. Yeah. I'm going to lower the heat here. Okay. And once this butter stops foaming, which mm -hmm. should be in about five seconds here. Uh-huh. That's good. We're going to add... Oh yeah, what is... Is that, is that lemon juice? This is freshly squeezed lemon juice. Fresh I'm squeezed. Gonna, I'm going to say two to three tablespoons. Okay. It's always nice to have a little left over. You can add more. Right. What is that? That's a half a cup of Chardonnay. Okay. Or any dry white wine? Yeah, with, any, anything will work. Anything will work like Chardonnay that? Chardonnay is oh, nice because it's sort of in between flavors. Yeah, and then you can drink the rest of the bottle. Yeah. So. <laughs> and what we'll do is just let this thicken and reduce a, a, a maybe less than a minute. Yeah. Then we're going to add some chicken stock in it. Okay. And we're going to cook that down until it's almost syrupy. Oh, okay. Throw in a little bit more butter. The Watkins way. The Watkins way. And that is the sauce. It, All right, what now, are we doing now? Well, we cooked it down maybe 30%. I see it, yeah. And although this is a nice big container, we're putting it about four to six ounces in. Okay. Um, you can always add more. Mm -hmm. And then once again, Crank we're up going the heat. to let this reduce until it almost becomes syrupy. Okay. Um, I put in a little bit of salt and pepper now. Mm -hmm but you can, of course, adjust later with salt okay. and pepper as right. well as right. adding more lemon juice, which we saved. Okay, so you can always add a little bit more. If it gets too thick, you can add a little bit more to it. Yeah, typically okay. it won't get too thick, but if it does, we <laughs> have other ingredients. Yeah, right? you gotta have backup plan, yeah. And we've reduced the sauce. Okay. And now we're gonna add a little bit more butter. A little knob of butter once again. Okay. And that's gonna thicken the sauce up even a little bit more. Yeah, right? thicken it even more. Okay. I tell you, and Scott, then, this looks great. I mean, this look look at this. I mean, and you can eat the whole lemons, the mm -hmm. whole thing. And what? You do, a lot of people like a little extra lemon, uh -huh. um, but we will taste this and see what you think. So this is becoming a nice yeah. sauce here. Uh, oh yeah, that looks great. And of course, add salt, pepper, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever you feel. Whatever like you want, happy. whatever you like, yeah. Make it stop on this. And then here's what we got. Oh wow, that looks so good. It smells good too. And that is And I know we talked about chicken. we talked about if we you asked me if we had parsley, I didn't have any. But if you had a little parsley, you could a just sprinkle a little green on that. That would look really good. All right. There's our lemon chicken. Well thank you for having me. Thanks for coming, Scott. This if you guys are watching, we we're going to do a series of three shows, three countries, Taiwan, France, and Italy. Next week is going to be a really good show, so stay tuned for that. A great Italian dish. This is the second one. Last week we did Taiwan. If you didn't see that, then go back and watch Taiwan. Anyway, Scott, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. 
subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. See you guys later. Bye.